welcome to my channel i am dr leela with a series of lectures on signals of system science python today's lecture i am going to explain how to generate a simulated triangular signal using python a triangular signal uh, as you can see here in figure 1 it consists of uh, two straight line segments so it is zero for it this is a triangle with a base from minus 1 to plus 1 and height uh, vertex at 1 so it is zero for t less than minus 1 and t greater than plus 1 and its value is 1 at t is equal to 0 so it has two straight line segments one is from minus 1 to 0 having a positive slope and from 1 0 to 1 it is a straight line with positive uh, slope for negative so we can think of it as consisting of ramps of different slopes at different points on the time axis so you see here for t less than minus 1 it is 0 so we need not have to worry about it so a ramp has to start at t is equal to minus 1 with a slope is equal to 1 see from minus 1 to 0 there is an increase in time of 1 unit and the magnitude changes are increases by 1 unit so this is a straight line segment or a ramp segment with slope 1 and shift is equal to plus 1 indicating that it is to the left of the t is equal to 0 point so we have to start a ramp signal r1 okay which is equal to slope 1 into r of t plus 1 so r1 is equal to r of t plus 1 then if nothing else is added this ramp would uh, continue like this as shown in this uh, dotted line but now it has to shift to this new line with the uh, change in slope from m is equal to plus 1 to m is equal to minus 1 so this is a straight line with the uh, slope is equal to minus 1 so there is a change in slope of see this is the second slope and this is the first slope the change in slope is m2 minus m1 that is minus 1 minus of 1 so the change in slope is by an amount equal to minus 2 so i have to add a ramp with minus 2 slope and it has to start at t is equal to 0 it is so, so it is simply r of t so minus 2 r of t the second signal added at t is equal to 0 the second ramp at t is equal to 0 which will shift this straight line from going above this one in this uh, direction it shifts to this uh, line okay suppose if nothing is added at t is equal to 1 it continues as shown in this dotted uh, line but now we want it to be 0 for t greater than 1 that means this line has to be turned to a horizontal line uh, with the slope is equal to 0 and at t is equal to 1 it has to start so at t is equal to 1 it has to be r of t minus 1 and with a slope of 1 so this m is equal to 1 and shift is equal to 1 is for uh, the straight line which has to be added at this point that is 1 r of t minus 1 that is a ramp signal so sum of all these three will result in a uh, triangular signal as shown in this figure so r1 is a, when we call the function uh, in using python this is going to be a function fn underscore ramp with slope 1 and shift plus 1 for this r1 and for r2 it is slope minus 2 shift is 0 and for r3 slope is 1 shift is minus 1 okay so these three are the uh, ramps used to generate this triangular signal so with this introduction let me take you to the jupiter notebook so now i have opened a <coughs> new notebook let me change the title of this notebook as a simulation of triangular signal okay so as usual from numpy import 
all the functions and then import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and uh, let us plot it in line so matplotlib in line run this cell So let us define uh, the function fn underscore ramp. You can give any name fn underscore ramp of t comma m comma shift. Close and do the colon. Then let me <coughs> generate an array of zeros of length capital N. Then for <coughs> i in range 0 to capital N if if t of i is greater than or equal to minus shift minus shift then what I should do I must replace this R of i by the expression m into t of i plus shift. Otherwise, leave it as it is, leave it as 0. Then return. R. So let me run this. So no mistakes. So now let me initialize the x axis by an array name space. Say from minus 5 to plus 5 with 1000 point. And then capital N is equal to length of the time array. And let me initialize M with some value. And also shift also with some value. I will take it as 0, 1. Now I will call this function R. Now since I have to generate three ramp signals to construct uh, the triangular signal. Let me call it as R1. R1 is <coughs> fn underscore ramp with a t comma slope is 1 but shift is plus 1. Okay. And our R2 is again call the function. Here the slope is minus 2 and shift is 0. And our R3 fn underscore ramp of t comma slope 1 and shift is minus 1. And let us construct R as equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and plot this T versus R and grid. So let me run this. See here I have made a mistake. It is plt dot plot. So you see here. So this is a triangular signal from minus 1 to plus 1 and uh, it is having its uh, one of the corners at, at t is equal to 0 <coughs> its value is 1. Okay. So now 
let me illustrate what happens if I take less number of points here. I will take 100. Just see. So the accuracy of the plot is reduced. So it has not touched 1 at t is equal to 0. And also we can see some uh, curved portion at t is equal to minus 1 and plus 1. So more the number of points here, we get a better curve. See exactly it is starting at minus 1 and minus plus 1 here. And it is touching the uh, 1 at t is equal to 0. To this you can now make the shift of this axis to the center, this to the center by considering x and y limits same. So let me do that plt dot x lim from minus 5 to plus 5. So since I don't require it minus 5 to plus 5, I will make it 3 to 3, okay. Minus 3 to plus 3. And uh, with a semicolon, I can start the new line, new command dot y lim, y limit from minus 2 to plus 2 and uh, after plotting let me take this rc param plt dot rc param figure dot figure fig size So you must observe the syntax here. So this has to be within square bracket and fig dot figure size figure dot fig size has to be within the quote and that must be equal to let me take it as uh, the size of the figure as 6 comma 6. Okay. And let me shift the y axis to the center of this uh, graph and before that let me run this so that uh, there is a mistake. RC params. Okay. So now I can shift the bottom axis, x axis to the center, left also to the center, and change the color also. So let me plot the graph in color green. So you can refer to the documentation of NumPy or python to get different uh, codes for different uh, colors and you can use it. Now let me change the plt.gca dot spines dot spines with spine left. So again observe the syntax dot set underscore position to center. Okay. So now it has come to the center. And uh, let me do the same thing with the bottom uh, axis, bottom also to the center and change the color to change uh, set color. Color to red. And also, same thing for the other axis. That is bottom. Also to red. I right up, right spine, no color, 
and the top spine also no color. Color, the spelling mistake has happened. C O L O R. So now you see the figure. So this is the triangle. So minus uh, instead of minus three to plus three, I can even make it as x limit minus two to plus two. Okay, so this is the triangular signal, and this is how we generate it using the ramp signal. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this, press the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, give your feedback at the comment section. See you in my next class.